All right, so today we're gonna do a video. Uh, my first unboxing and uh, my first review ever. And I'm gonna be uh, comparing the Groove Gear fret wrap to uh, one of like the staples of my base gear. And that is specifically this five cent elastic hair tie. Uh, I've been putting these as like nut dampeners on my guitars and basses for as long as I can remember. Um, maybe a nickel. I mean, you can buy them in like big packs, or for anyone who uh, ever indulged in their 20s, they might actually just find one of these laying around, maybe. I don't know. I've always just used it. I've always liked it. It's not perfect. It's not super consistent in its, in its uh, dampening uh, skills, but it always worked, and it always really kind of cleaned stuff up, especially for recording. So I was going to compare the results to this 5-cent hair tie uh, to a 1099 Groove Gear uh, fret wrap. Uh, we're gonna do an unboxing and we're going to uh, uh, just kind of compare the two. So stay tuned, we're gonna unbox it, uh, show you kind of what it looks like and how it works and then we're going to, of course, uh, replace this guy with it and then we'll uh, do some samples and we can see uh, see if we can hear the difference in the quality. So here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and just uh, pull this open and we'll see uh, what we got. Perfect. All right. Groove gear, fret wrap, just as described. Uh, this is the large. It uh, looks like it's meant for large guitars um, and maybe some uh, basses. But I think uh, XL will specifically work for bass, but they said large will work too. So. All right. Cool. Nice little buckle. Uh, looks sharp. Looks like a little neoprene thing. Looks like it's high quality enough. Um, all right. All right, so looks like we're just gonna set this right over the top here. Yep, looks like it's gonna be a perfect fit. So we're gonna take this one off, or at least I don't wanna snip it yet. Uh, so we'll just put it way high on the nut. We're gonna throw this bad boy right around here. Nice and tight, boom, there it is. Cool, just like that. Uh, yeah, so it seems to be like super high quality. I like it. A little like a nice uh, dense padding there. Very similar to like a basketball sweatband and it's a neoprene um, finish on top that kind of wraps it and then a pretty sturdy neoprene buckle underneath. So, uh, all right, cool. So let's go ahead and uh, get it plugged in. Let's hear the difference between uh, that and just a cheap old hair tie. That seems to be the uh, favorite in this household. All right, so jumping right on in, we're going to see uh, how much this little piece of elastic, this little hair tie actually dampens our notes. Uh, we're gonna put it about the fifth fret and we're just gonna go through each string. All right, so dampens it a little bit, right? Like I always said it did, uh, but you can still hear a note ring through, right? Especially on that G string because it's just perfectly hitting a harmonic. Uh, which kind of tells you how much pressure is really putting on the string because the harmonic is kind of just a little uh, You're just kind of very de you're depressing the string just a tad um, If you're not familiar with the harmonics yet, don't even worry about that Well, we can cover that in a different video, but it's just kind of it's barely putting some pressure on there uh, Which does help uh, clean up some of that extra uh, Noise there, but it, it's definitely not a true muting right you can still You can still hear a note ring out. It's just not um, which is not completely full because there's a little bit of a some tension on there. All right, so we're gonna put that way on top, and we're gonna replace it with the uh, Groove Gear fret wrap. And we'll, obviously, we'll use the fifth fret again as our fifth fret will be the control. All right, so entirely muted, right? Uh, each string is completely dampened. No, um, no being brought through whatsoever. Cool, not surprised, right? It's doing exactly what it was advertised to do. Uh, I like this. It actually feels like a piece of gear. Um, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but I actually, I like it. It'll be something I will always have now. Uh, that's all it took. Uh, so is it a hundred times better than just a simple hairband? Hairband's 10 cents. This is 10 bucks, something like that, 10 or 11 bucks. Um, I don't know. I mean, it certainly sounds you know great. And if you're looking for the best possible um, take on your 
recording session. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Try it. Now, I guess the thing I should say, and I, I feel this uh, way about a lot of tools like this, whether it's uh, a fret wrap or a good pedal or a compressor or something like that, it doesn't replace good playing. Uh, never think that. It's uh, these things are t these these are tools to help you with better playing. Don't let it be a crutch by any means. Just don't let it um, replace good dexterity in your hands and how to kind of feel your bass and how to get what you want out of your bass uh, sonically as far as getting a full note or muting it. We've practiced that in a different video about ways to kind of get uh, a dampening effect or muting. Uh, with our palms and such like that. And uh, so that's just my little uh, caveat to that. So we're gonna jump into uh, just playing a little bass line with both and nothing fancy, but just so you can kind of hear the difference as it kind of cleans up. We're gonna put it about the eighth fret here. Here we go. Now on to the Groove Gear fret wrap, eighth fret again. Difference. I, I feel like I noticed a difference. Um, maybe I feel the difference. Actually, yeah, maybe I actually feel the difference more than I hear the difference. It's lowering the action a little bit, especially when you put it uh, on the higher frets. And by action, I mean the distance between the fretboard and the string there. That that uh, that that is your action. That how it um, uh, how it rises and lowers in your preference. That, that's how you set your action, right? Uh, maybe that's what I feel. Maybe I just feel it being lower. And I'm able to kind of get in there more, but yeah, it's definitely, um, definitely kind of cleans up. So yeah, uh, just wrap it up all in all. Yeah. Groove gear fret wrap. I love it. I think it's great. I feel like it's a great thing to have, um, hanging out. I would put it on your, like above your nut, um, all the time. Actually, I wouldn't find a reason to take it off. Uh, and if you're tracking and you know, your baseline doesn't have those open, Strings, yeah, throw it up, uh, throw it up like a full, full step from where you're actually playing. So I was playing um, uh, here on the 12th fret, so I had about eight. So, you know, um, so that's actually two full steps. So somewhere around there. So somewhere between, um, give yourself some room there that way you're not lowering the action too much. Um, but yeah, all in all, I like it a lot. So I, I got it on Amazon. Um, uh, probably pretty quick search. I think for a four string bass, probably go with a large um, for a five string or above uh, large or XL. Uh, but it looks like the large works for like seven and eight string guitars too. So uh, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Uh, like and subscribe if you're digging it. And if you have any questions, of course, uh, throw them down in the comment field. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Cody.Cook. And thank you so much. And guys, uh, take care.